Hi, my name is Mr. Exim and welcome to my EdTech channel where I show you how to get the most out of technology in the classroom. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with Microsoft Whiteboard, a really great way for students to collaborate with each other and with their teacher. Let's get started. So to launch Microsoft Whiteboard, the quickest way to do it actually is probably go to the little pen icon down here in the bottom right, Windows Inc Workspace, click on that and you'll get straight to the Whiteboard here. If you haven't got the app installed on Windows 10, it may prompt you to install it. And here we go, it's launched up. Other ways to access Microsoft Whiteboard is through office.com, sign in with a 365 account and it should pop up here. It might not pop up as one of these apps straight away, you might have to go to the All Apps button to find it. But there will be your whiteboard if you click on that it will get the web app version opening up in your browser there is a mac version and android version for the web apps and also for an ios for ipad or iphone there is an app you can install for that so here i am in the whiteboard app and you can see my previous whiteboards you can see ones that are just mine and ones that are shared collaborative ones with the little icon of people there if i click on the ellipsis i've got of options uh, there as to what I can do with those previous whiteboards. For now, we're going to click start a new whiteboard. And here it is. Whiteboard is essentially a, well, it's a whiteboard as the name suggests. If you want a more of a, a techie name for it, then it's a free form canvas, which can be collaborative. You can bring people in in real time by sharing a link or by using what they call the people picker. The people picker up here is this button, invite someone and you'll be able to invite a whole class or, or individuals from your organization and you can just start writing uh, in there with your pen or click and type the name to start bringing up people or classes there. Okay, so whiteboard, this, this lovely canvas here, you can add loads of content to it. You, it does work with a keyboard and mouse, but it's optimized really well if you've got a stylus. Uh, and we've got the pens along the bottom, okay, so We've got the obviously the black pen, and if I click on the little dot, I can change the thickness, and I can customize the colors of the pens that I want. So I've got uh, different color pens here, and let's say I want to just write on my screen, I can do that. And I've obviously got a highlighter tool as well, which is useful, and again, I can customize that and the thickness and the color. And I've also got a ruler, which is really helpful for just drawing quick things. I can just move the ruler around, twist it around to get uh, straight lines um, using my pen. Just switch that off. I've also got the lasso button, which is very useful because it allows me to drag over something and to group things together and uh, also then move those around my canvas very easily. I can also copy and paste, okay? and I can change the colors of the inks that are already on there. And the other thing I've got, which is nice, is if I lasso this thing up here, I've got a bit of artificial intelligence, bit of AI built in here, which is really cool, which is the beautification ink tool. See that little magic wand? If I click on that, then it will, it will convert my handwriting into some nice text. We can also obviously add uh, any typed text here. Okay, and move that around, and I've got options for making that bigger and smaller. And I've also got post-it notes, which I can use. I can write on post-it notes if I want. And when I move the post-it note, it will actually move the writing as well with that, which is nice. And I've got uh, images. Let's have a look at that. Into the image menu now. That's great as I can catch stuff straight from my camera. If I've got one built into my device, I can look for one on my computer, but actually I can search straight into Bing, which is brilliant. I can write in here what I want, okay, and it will search for that straight on Bing, which is brilliant. There we go. So I'm going to add this nice picture of a leaf in. There we go. These are all Creative Commons images as well, which is nice. So there's no copyright issue surrounding them. Click on the image. I can make twist it around, make, put it where I want. Okay, and I can also uh, edit right on top. Okay, and label it with my pens. And what's good is it, that the, that ink will then actually stick to the image. So 
when I come to move that around, it knows that that's part of that image now, that, that those two things should go together, which is brilliant. I can also add other content with the plus here. I've got um, stickers, PDFs, Word documents, PowerPoint, so you can add those straight in there and then start working, collaborating on those straight away, which is brilliant. And I've got some of these templates here. We'll have a look at these. Note grid is really nice. Okay, and this allows me to add some uh, post-it notes. Okay, so just click add note. There we go, I can add quite a few notes. Again, I can type on there. I can uh, draw on those notes. And if I click on each note, I can change the color of them. And I can also vote on them, which is quite nice. So if you're planning something and again, you're working within a group and you, you all put your different ideas on then you can all vote on those ideas. This is a really dynamic little tool here because actually what you can also do is you can uh, take those and you can reorder them. So you can reorder them by a reaction count and then you're going to get your most popular ideas coming up first. So a really nice little uh, tool there that's inbuilt. And, I will, and also as with a lot of Microsoft products, I've got an immersive reader built into that as well, which is great. Okay, let's have a look at a couple more features. Um, uh, I quite like the list. It's nice and simple, but it kind of gives you a bullet point list, which is great. Drag that around. You can put as many of those as you want on there and just type away. That's nice. And uh, again, we've got some nice formatting options there in terms of uh, how we want it to be, whether we want them to be ticked off or bullet points. Okay. Um, and what about adding a document? What was quite cool is when you add a PowerPoint, for example, it doesn't add the entire PowerPoint. So you find the PowerPoint you want. And then what's cool is it will preview all the slides and you can just pick which slide you actually want that's actually relevant to this particular uh, whiteboard. Okay. So actually I really only just want this one because I want to talk about these results here. And there we go. It's whacked it in as an image. I can resize that. I can drag that around. I can put that where I want it to go on my canvas. Okay. Now I'll just show you some of the other artificial intelligence features. If I zoom out a little bit, get myself a little bit more space on my canvas, I can just do that by pinching and dragging. And I look up here in the settings, you'll see there's a few things here that I could switch on. I can switch on ink to shape and I can switch on ink to table. These are quite good fun. So, you know, if you're just sketching out a diagram or something like that and you draw a circle, it will automatically fix that circle so that it is a good circle or a good square. Um, that's quite good, but the tables are even even cooler. Okay, so let's say I just draw a rectangle and then I start putting in some some lines here across it. I can put in as many as I want. And then if I start writing with my pen inside it, it will actually expand to fit what I'm writing. which is really cool. Okay, that looks a bit messy. Let's just magic ink that. And straight away, I've got a fantastic table I can fill in. So some pretty nice little features there again, all built in. Okay, last few features to look at. So let's have a look at these templates. Uh, so let me just get a bit more space on here. Okay, I'm gonna click the plus and I've got a couple of templates here. Uh, that under the template option and these are brilliant because these just get you started straight off uh, quite nice here's a brainstorming one gives you some information down the left hand side as to you know what each sort of section is for you can give it a title up here you start adding some ideas adding some different notes in you you've got your agenda and you got items to follow up so a nice sort of way to brainstorm and work in a group there so you can have a look at some of those templates fiddle around but there's some really nice ones built in straight away that you can just get your you know your whiteboards up and running depending on what kind of things you're working on. I just look at the settings quickly. You've got some nice options as to how to share this. You can export it, okay, as either as an overall image, uh, which is nice, or you can send it into a OneNote when it's finished, which is brilliant. So click send to OneNote. I'm going to go with my um, class notebooks coming up here. Here we go, and I can send them into one of my class notebooks or I can post it to Teams. So if, you, if you're using uh, Teams in your school with a class, then you can po post this straight onto a particular team and a particular channel. Format the background is great because there's nice options here in terms of changing to squares, changing to dots, giving it different colors. 
And finally, uh, Whiteboard is now built into Teams meetings, which is absolutely brilliant. So let's say I'm having a meeting on Teams like this. And you'll see that underneath share screen, I have got Whiteboard, okay, over here. So if I click on that, it's going to launch Whiteboard in Teams. And I could do it straight into te in Teams if I want. Uh, but the thing is, when you do it within here, it gives you limited functionality because it's like a web-based version inside of Teams. But it's quite nice if you just if you all just needed to to do a little bit of work. But actually, if if everybody in the team uh, opens it in the app or you click open in app initially, then what you'll get is you'll be able to be working on this nice whiteboard with all that functionality we've just talked about at the same time as everybody who is in that Teams meeting. And so you can all be collaborating plus continuing your video call and your video meeting at the same time. So that's absolutely brilliant. So there you go, a really useful collaborative tool for students and teachers to engage with each other. Check out my channel for more great tools. For now though, I hope that was useful and thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon. See you next time.